that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Thank you, Deacon. I, I can always count on you. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. How many of you are glad to be alive? Amen. How many of you are thankful that your funeral is not being planned? That this isn't a hospital visit? That the Lord has purposely gathered us together to give him the praise, the honor, and the glory? And we learned on last night, I'm looking for the radical folk, the reckless ones. How many reckless worshipers are there in the house who's not ashamed to give God praise? You don't have to have a microphone to lift your hands, to raise your voice and to tell the Lord, thank you. Just tell him, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Look at your name and say, I'm ready to worship. Jesus is on the mainland, why don't you? Oh, Jesus is on the mainland, tell him. Yes, Lord, Jesus is on the mainland, come on and tell him. You just call him up and tell him. Y'all sound a little tired. Yeah, yeah. I know you've been at work. I know you may have been arguing with your spouse before you got here. She's mad at the children because they didn't finish their homework or frustrated with life, but we're in the Lord's house. And so if you got no other reason to be happy, Inhale and exhale. That's your reason to give him glory. Jesus is on the mainland. Come on and there you go. Yeah, Jesus is on the mainland. Why don't you? My Lord, Jesus is on the mainland. Come on and tell him. Just put your hands together and help me. There you go. There you go. Y'all thought we was gonna go through the revival week without doing it. Are y'all ready? Come on and tell. 
tell him Yes, sir Oh, his line is never busy Come on and tell him How many of you know His line is never, never busy Come on and tell him You just You just You just Hallelujah How many of you are glad that his line is never busy? Hallelujah Any time of the day you feel compelled to call upon him, he's available and because he's available, he's able. And in that we celebrate, there's nothing you can't take to the Lord in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry to God in prayer. Our congregational scripture reading for this evening comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 28, the New International Version. If you don't have it, tell your neighbor, look at the screen, look at the screen. In the words of Lady Kim, y'all ready to read? Let's read together. So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity and they are full of greed. That, however, is not the way of life you learned. When you heard about Christ and were taught in him accordance with the truth that is in Jesus, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you're still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must no longer sleep, must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands that they may have something to share with those in need. The word of God for the people of God, praise be unto our God. As we prepare for prayer, I'm gonna come down and ask Mother Thomas, to pray for us. I know what she said. I believe the Lord needs to hear a mother's prayer. Whatever you feel like telling God, tell him. If it's thank you, Jesus, that's a prayer. If it's help me, Lord, that's a prayer. If it's 911, that's a prayer. He knows what we have need of before we even ask. And I just feel led to believe that if he ain't listening to nobody else tonight, he listening to you. So as you pray, Mother, please don't forget, pray for me. Our Heavenly Father, we come here tonight to celebrate you for all the good things that you have done. Because, Lord, you have brought me from a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. Yes, you have. And 
And I want to thank you, Lord. I thank you each and every day, Lord, that able me to wake up in the morning. Thank you, God. I thank him. I thank him, Lord, for having me to be able to move. Oh, I might move slow, but I'm moving. Lord, I just want to thank you because I say again, you have brought me for a mighty long way. I've had doctors to tell me if you had to just wait a little while long, it would have been nothing we could do for you. But Lord, you know. You kept me, Lord. You moved me in the right direction, Father. And I want to thank you. I thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, Lord, bless the service tonight, Lord. Because we need your word, Lord. I want to thank you. Although I get short of breath sometimes, Lord. But then you always manage to bring me through. And I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you. And now I bless my pastor, Lord. Bless his family. Because he's, 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 he's okay, I guess. <laughs> no, Lord. He's a wonderful pastor, Lord. I, I follow him anywhere, Lord. And I want to thank you. And my first lady. Oh, she's so wonderful. And my church family. And my church family, they have been so good to me since my problems I've had. And I appreciate them and I thank them, Lord. Now, Lord, go with us through this day, Lord. And they give you all the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Give God praise for answered prayer. Give God praise for answered prayer. I've got one question. Is the Joy Quartet in the house? Amen. They have blessed us these past couple of nights. You may be seated if you can. And they are here for the finale. Is Pastor Murphy here? He said he was coming tonight. Well, I know his wife is here, so he gonna come. Amen. Chrissy, do you recognize anybody up here? In the pulpit area? Not even me. Okay, all right. All right, okay. All right, now. I need you all to pray for this group. Again, you know how proud we are of them to see young people singing and glorifying God, using their gift to give him glory. And we are not going to belabor. For some reason, I think it's the preacher in him. He, sound, like he, he holler better when he used my microphone. So today will be no different. Put your hands together for the Joy Quartet as they come. Y'all do me a favor. Y'all just pat your hands. God blessed us with this song that simply says, this joy that I have. The world didn't give it to me. And the world can't do what? Hey, come on, clap your hands. Ooh, come on and clap your hands again. Yeah. Listen, of this joy, this joy that I am. Hey, the world didn't give it, and they can't take you away. Hey, the joy, this joy yeah. that I am. The world. Oh, the world didn't give it. The world didn't give it. And they can't take it away. 
didn't give in. Hey, listen. Take it away. You can't have my joy. You can't have my joy. You can't have my peace. You can't have my peace. Because I got the love of I Jesus. The love of Jesus. And it's all over me. All over I tell me. the devil, can't have my joy. You can't have my joy. You can't have my peace. You can't have my peace. Cause I got the love. Jesus. And it's all over me. All over yeah. me. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have it. Not my joy. You can't have it. Not my peace. You can't have it. Cause it's mine. All mine. It's mine. All mine. God gave it to me. And it's mine. You can't have it. I don't know about y'all but I know I've been in situations where something good happened get a promotion on my job or my kids doing good in school and I you, you know I go to tell somebody say you know such and such and they be like oh really you know what that mean right they trying to take your joy from me but you know what I realize no matter what they do no matter how they treat me no matter how they do it hey you can't have it you can't have it you can't have it you can't have it i know you're trying to knock me down i know you're trying to make me frown but i got so much to be grateful for i got so much to be joyful for i got life health and strength i got my children that let me know you can't have it you can't have it no you can't have it no you can't have it Here we go, okay. in it on the one. Yeah. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it. And the world can't take it away. You know, when I look at the world today, I know we, 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 we've been taught all our life that Jesus is soon to return. You know, 
when I was a little boy, I thought it was going to be before I was 10. And then I thought it was going to be Y2K. And then I thought it was going to be when Trump got in office. <laughs> I said all that to say this though. The only thing that we got, the only hope that we got is having Jesus. Not your money, not your cars, not your husband, your wives, not your pastor, not your church, but Jesus. You know, and today we need Jesus. We need Jesus now. We need Jesus now. Have I got a witness? Listen, we need Jesus. When my world is upside down, we look to Jesus. Jesus now. Oh, Jesus. Jesus now. In this mean old world. Jesus now. Lord, we need you. Now. Jesus now. Is there anybody here know that you need Jesus? Jesus now. Is there anybody in here know that you need Jesus? Jesus now. When Satan come and try to destroy, you got to call on Jesus. Jesus now. Is there anybody in the building tonight that ever laid awake? Crying all night long. You had to call on Jesus. This is what we tell them. We said somebody. Somebody needs you, Jesus. Jesus now. We said somebody needs you. Late in the midnight hour. We said somebody. Say, Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you. Lift your hands and say, Lord, we need you. Say, Lord, we need you. Listen. I said, somebody. Yes, we do. Is there anybody in here know that you need Jesus? I dare you lift your hands and begin to give them glory. I said, somebody. shoulders seem like when we turn to the right we find trouble and confusion this seem like when we turn to the left we find malice and misunderstanding but I'm standing here said Lord we need you Come see about me. 
Cause I realize if you don't come see about me I can't make it I can't make it I can't make it Yeah. 
Healer, deliverer, healer, deliverer, savior. Hey! 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 But I thank you, Jesus. I thank you right now. Because the devil thought he had me. But I got away. I said the devil thought he had me. But I got away. Hey! 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 Thank you, Jesus. See, I got a reason to act this way. I got a reason to give God glory. Growing up in the inner city of Detroit, living in the projects, the statistics say that I wouldn't made it till I was 18. Look at me now. I'm almost 40 years old. And the main thing about it I know who Jesus is, in spite of what the statistics say. I know who Jesus is. He's my protector. He's my provider. He's all that I need. He's all that I need. Ladies and gentlemen, the Joy Quartet. Woo! God Almighty. There are moments we all have with the master. And we thank God for the memory he gives us of the miracles he's performed in the midst of our messes. We serve a grand God, a great God, an amazing God. If nobody else can get happy about that partakers, you ought to be happy. Because you are living test testimonies about the Lord's ability to bring you from, through, and to. And the fact that you made it through the process. It shouldn't take much to get you to say thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Before we do the video presentation or introduction of our preacher for tonight, 
I want to acknowledge all of the preachers and pastors in the house. If you would stand so that we could acknowledge you and appreciate you. Amen. Come on. Give God praise for that. That's right. He need to be. If you ain't standing now, you're going to be standing soon. Amen. Partakers, preachers, stand. Let them know. They may stand. Preach. If you, God called you to preach, amen. Amen. Ain't no sexism here. We don't discriminate. God didn't check with me. Amen. If he called you, amen. 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 We are thankful and grateful uh, that you decided to share with us in the climax of this what has been an amazing uh, uh, revival. God has blessed us with some amazing preachers and the one we have on tonight is no different amen I had the wonderful privilege of meeting her and Bishop Edgar Van uh, not long after my feet touched Detroit Michigan soil and they have been nothing but kind to me amen in fact when we were transitioning she was scheduled to do the Women's Day, I believe. And after we transitioned, she still agreed to come and she blessed the house. Amen. And Pastor Van, I still, I think we're still living off the residue of what you left with us. We're glad to have you here. We are grateful. Will you do me a favor real quick before the video introduction, point to the preacher and say, Preacher! Oh, preacher, we need a word, and we believe that God has given you a word for us, so don't hold back, give it up, that all who hear will be blessed by what God is preaching through you, in Jesus' name. Now put those happy hands together as we have the video introduction. Right after the video introduction, the next voice you will hear will be that of our tonight's preacher, Pastor Sheila Van, as she comes with the word of God. Somebody who's saved, say amen. Somebody who's thinking about getting saved, say amen. Somebody who ain't saved, say amen. Because you're going to be saved by the time this is over. Amen. Sheila Van, worshiper, mentor, and vessel of grace. These are the characteristics of this dynamic woman of God. She is an ordained elder and serves as executive pastor of the Second Ebenezer Church. Esther Sheila is also a graduate of the Ecumenical Theological Seminary located in Detroit, Michigan. Having a passion to see women live at their fullest God-given potential, she organized a women's ministry called Women of the Word, better known as WOW. Pastor Sheila is also the First Lady of Kingdom Alliance Covenant Fellowship, where she spiritually mentors and covers over 35 First Ladies. Being a woman of favor, Pastor Sheila has received numerous accolades and awards. She was awarded the Shirley Chisholm Award from the National Political Congress of Black Women, the Woman of Excellence Award by the Michigan Chronicle, and she was voted one of the most influential black women in the city of Detroit by the Women's Informal Network, just to name a few. Even though she has been recognized by many, her greatest joy is being the wife of the talented and anointed Bishop Edgar L. Van II. She is the proud mother of Edgar L. Van III and Erica Van Ridgeway, and grandmother of David Ridgeway II. Esther Sheila's life's journey is surrounded by the verse in Romans 8.28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. 
Partakers and friends, let's give a warm welcome to Pastor Sheila Van of Second Ebenezer Church. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. The Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and come into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? Because the Lord is good. Anybody know that he's good on tonight? Come on and clap your hands for Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. I am just tickled pink and peacock proud to be here. You may be seated. I'm, I'm glad to be back with partakers. Come on, God. Hallelujah. Amen. When this ministry was first birth, the pastor trusted me to come here. Amen. And uh, I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad. And God bless you. <laughs> God is just so amazing. I can't believe you all have been in existence for six years. That's nobody but God. That's, that, that's nobody but God. Come on, y'all know what you've been through. That's nobody but God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Only God can do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad to be here and giving honor to God and thankful for my bishop in his absence. Amen. I'm loving my life. I thank God for him on today. I also want to thank God for Pastor Winfrey. What a divine man of God. Hallelujah. I love his energy. I love how he loves God. Amen. I love that he's not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. And you can't give it up for him if you don't give it up for the beautiful queen of this house. My sister. God bless you. Amen. Lady Winfrey. Amen. Come on now. Y'all be nice down there. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. We're going to get right to the word, but I, I believe I got a few Ebenezians in the house. I want y'all to stand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate y'all. Amen, amen. Our ministers, amen. Thank God for you. My daughter, stand up. My little grandbaby is here tonight. Man, thank God for her on tonight. She only with me because her husband out of town. <laughs> Tell her, I just, <laughs> I just wonder where she would be if he was here. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Um, let us stand for the reading of the word. I only have two verses I want to read on tonight. It's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I won't be before you long. I know you've been here all week. Amen. Very familiar passage of scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. When you say it, have it, say, have it, say amen. 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 Verse 8 and verse 9. We are troubled on every side, <laughs> yet not distressed. We are complex, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. We are troubled on every side, <laughs> yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Just look at your neighbor. No, I don't even want you to look at your neighbor. Just hug yourself and say these words to yourself. Tell yourself, 
I've been built to last. Come on, clap your hands for yourself. Come on, tell you, I've been built to last. I've been built to last. Tell them, tell them don't, don't, you don't know who you sit next to. Tell them, I've been built to last. Now clap your hands for yourself. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. I've been built to last. Hallelujah. The difficulties and devastations that we are facing in our society today are so complicated and so complex that it has caused many of us to feel pressure and pain like we've never felt before. And it's all because our world is filled with so much turbulence, so much trouble and so much turmoil. We are dealing with raging undercurrents of racial injustice. Hallelujah. We are trying to navigate through nauseating negative news stories. Come on, somebody. We've been placed under painful presidential processes. Hallelujah. We are experiencing economic inequity. Our schools are being shot up. Our kids are being killed. And black and brown blood is being spilled over in our streets. Death, destruction, despair, and decay is everywhere. And it's making some of us feel like if something does not give... Come on, somebody. It's making us feel that if something does not happen, if something does not break, I just might break. Come on, somebody. (laughs) Hallelujah. Because so many of us have gotten to the point where we are at our wit's end when it comes to the world that we're living in. Even when I look around, Pastor, and I I see what's happening, it, it reminds me of a secular song that I know by a man that called himself Grandmaster Flash. Uh, I know I'm dating myself right now. But, but, but Grandmaster Flash got so discouraged, he said it this way, don't push me, because I'm close to the edge. <laughs> I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes. It made me wonder. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know I'm not the only one in here because the pressures and the problems and the pains of life are affecting us to the point that we don't know from one day to the next, are we going to make it? Hallelujah. Some of us feel like it's so uncertain that one day we're on top of the world and the next day the world is on top of us. But in spite of all of that, what you're going through, the key word here is that you're going through. (laughs) Hallelujah. Because going through presupposes that I'm coming out. How many of you know that you're coming out? Oh, come on. I need some coming out people. I need some people that know that you're coming out. I need some people that know that you ain't going to break. I need some people that know that your breakdown is going to be your breakthrough. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. (laughs) Because the Lord told me to tell somebody tonight, and I already told the pastor that what you thought What's going to break you is going to end up blessing you. It's a word for somebody tonight. What you thought was going to eliminate you, God's going to use it to elevate you. Come on, somebody. Who am I talking to in this place tonight? So pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. Stop whining and start winning. (laughs) Hallelujah. I I declare over everybody in this place that this is your winning seat. Oh, who am I talking to in this place? Oh, tell 
God is my winning season. I didn't come up in here to lose, uh, but I came up in here to win. Uh, I feel like a winner. Uh, I walk like a winner. I talk like a winner. I live like a winner. I even smell like a winner. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Tell them I'm a winner. Tell them that you sitting on the winning row. Hallelujah. Say, because you on this row, you on the winning row. Hiya. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, tell them you on the winning row. You, you, this, this is the, everything on this row going to win. And you're going to win tonight. Hallelujah. So, You've been to revival for the last three nights. Something got to break. Something got to give. High five your neighbor and tell him I'm going to win in this season. Somebody need to grab it. 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 Need to grab it. Tired of losing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time. For me to win. Tell somebody I'm about to win. I'm about to win. And so if you're going to be resilient in this season. If you're going to claim that you're a winner. What you got to understand is that you're going to suffer. <laughs> Suffering, people of God, is just a part of life. You see, the truth of the matter is that you're going to have to endure some things in this life. You're going you're gonna to have to go through some things in this life. People of God, please don't let anyone tell you and sell you on some poor theology that because you are a Christian that you won't go through. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to inform you that hard times are coming. The Bible says that a man that is born of a woman is of a few days. And they're full of trouble. The Bible says that you got to endure hardness. Like a good soldier. Tell somebody endure hardness, endure hardness. Hallelujah. But when the difficult times come, <laughs> I want you to know that the difficult times are not meant to destroy you. <laughs> but difficult times can be used to rebuild your life. <laughs> You see, it's in the test and it's in the trials that God uses to develop you. It's in the test and the trials that God builds your character. He, he builds resilience. He builds strength in you. First Peter 5 and 10 says, but the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered. Somebody say, it's just a little while. It's just... It's just a little while. He's going to make you perfect. He's going to establish you, strengthen you, and settle you. So, uh, see, he, difficulties are, are, are not meant to destroy you or to dismantle you, but they come to deliver you. Glory to God. And so for the next few minutes that I have, I thought I would invite the Apostle Paul to church tonight. Because whenever I'm overwhelmed, people of God, with the pressures of life, the Apostle Paul's story helps me to get through. What he endured seems to comfort me in my crisis to know that he went through and he got through. Hallelujah. You see, Paul was a man who knew what it meant to go through. He, he knew what it meant to be tested. He knew what it meant to suffer. He, he knew what it meant to, to, to go through stuff and let God bring you out. Paul was shipwrecked three times. He, he was beaten. He, he was put into prison. He was a man that ended up with a thorn in his flesh. Oh, I, I believe that Paul endured some suffering. Hold up. But regardless of all that Paul had been through, he still preached through pain. He pressed through persecution and he praised through the pressure. In other words, Paul was resilient because he knew how to take a licking and keep on ticking. Hallelujah. 
Uh, it makes me kind of pause and ask the question. Say, Paul, I, I said, how did you go through all of that? How, how did you go through all of that? And you still remain faithful. And you still remain strong. And the revelation that God gave me is that Paul remained strong because he had confidence in the competence of God. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You see, when you know God is able... When you know God can do anything, when you know God can bring you out, hallelujah, it just makes things a little bit more bearable, hallelujah, hallelujah, every now and then you got to have the faith of Job and say these words, though you slay me, yet will, do I have any yet will Christians in this place today, and so I'm going to take a look at the verse for just a few minutes. But we have this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The text seems to suggest that even though I'm fragile, flawed, and fickle, God still puts some valuable stuff in me. Glory to God. God uses us as vessels to house his gospel. Can I just get you for a minute to understand who you are in Christ? Can I just get you for a minute to understand that God has put precious things inside of you? I, I know that's why the things that you have gone through and the situations that you have endured, why it has broken others down, it just invigorated you. While it's broken others down, it's just ignited you and it just fired you up. Because when you should have quit, you said, I'm not going to quit. When you should have thrown in the towel, you said, I'm going to keep on standing. And it's all because you've been built to last. Glory to God. Right here in verse 8. The first thing I see in this text is the word we. Now we is significant cause. It presupposes that I'm not going through something all by myself. I don't know about you, but I thank God that I'm not in this thing by myself. But in this text, I see a few other words, and I'm about to come on down your street. I see words like trouble. I see words like perplexed. I see words like persecuted. I see words like cast down. But when I keep on reading, I see words like not distressed. I see words like not in despair. I see words like not forsaken. I see words like not destroyed. When I look at the first four words in the text, it makes me know that what's going on, that's on the outside of me. But when I see the next four words, not distressed, not despair, not forsaken, and not destroyed, that's what God has put on the inside of me. Oh, I'm about through y'all. Y'all been in church all week. Thank you, Pastor, for this opportunity. But I want you to know that there's no give up in me. You can come on and roll with me. I've been troubled on every side, yet not distressed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. I want somebody in this place to know that you've been built to last. Ah, devil, you can't kill me. Devil, you can't stop me devil you can't take over cause I've been built to last thank you Jesus bless your holy name I thank you for what you put inside of me being confident of this very thing he that had begun a good work tell somebody I'm a good work I'm a good work I'm a good work I'm a good work I'm a 
I'm a good work. I'm a good work. I'm a good work. I'm going to say it till somebody see it. You a good work. You a good work. Glory to God. That's why I came with a message to tell you that you've been built to last. Oh, glory to God. You know what? One of my favorite movies is the color purple. Hallelujah. I like the color purple because Miss Seeley never gave up. Glory to God. Mr. Carter Ugly. Mr. told her she was black. Mr. told her that she'll never be nothing. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But you know what? Miss Seely, I believe she believed that she was built to last. Sue Gavery, the one with the shimmy, was ready to leave. And Miss Seely said, I'm going with Sue Gavery. Glory to God. Mr. tried to stop him, but she crooked him fingers and said, whatever you done to me, it's going to be done to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Miss Seely took a knife, put it to Mr. Throat. Miss Sophia had already been through something, so she begged Miss Seely, Miss Seely, don't do it. Mr. ain't worth it. I want to tell somebody, don't do it. Mr. ain't worth it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She went on. She got her bags. She got in the car. Mr. was still telling her, you ain't nothing. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to never be nothing. Glory to God. Miss Seely waved her hand and said, you know what? I might be black. I might even be ugly. But you know what? I'm still here. Somebody ought to give God. I'm still here. Praise. It's because I've been built to last. Let trouble come. I've been built to last. Let heartaches come. I've been built to last. Let pain come. I've been built to last. Talk about me just as much as you please. I've been built to last. Scandalize my name. I've been built to last. Try to bury me. I've been built to last. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on your great name. Jesus. Somebody call his name. Jesus. Jesus. We have the victory. We can may endure for a night, but joy, 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 joy is coming in the morning. Thanks be unto God who giveth us the victory. Thanks be unto God who always causes me to triumph. That's why I'm built to last. Been through some struggles. But God has some hard times. But God been through divorces. But God, somebody before I leave here ought to give God a but God pray. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give him a good God praise. Do I have any but God praises? Do I have any but God praises? Do I have any but God praises? Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you stop. God's been good to you. God made a way for you. Don't you stop praising him. Somebody, get out of the aisle. Go get you a praise partner. Somebody that you know. 
can get a praise through. Come on, somebody. Get somebody by the hand and ask them, if I praise them, will you praise them with me? If I bless them, will you bless them with me? If I tell them thank you, will you thank them with me? Go on and get you a praise partner. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, get somebody. Get somebody. We got to dance the victory in this place. We about to give God some glory in this place. This is the last night of the revival. And we need to praise God like we losing our mind. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Woo. Come on. Come on. Praise your way through it. Praise your way through it. When I think about Jesus, what is up for me? Think about Jesus. How he set me free. I just. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Get it in your feet. When I think about Jesus, what is up for me? Think about Jesus. I set me free. I just. Glory. Come on. Come on. Somebody go get it. Somebody free yourself. When I think about Jesus, what is up for me? Think about Jesus. How he set me free. If I was in the club, I'd say all night, 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 all We need to give God a Friday night praise. I want to see who the real praises are. We don't need no music. 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 Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. God praise. Come on and clap. Yo, hey.
Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, give him praise. Come on. Come on, free yourself, free yourself. Free yourself, free yourself. Free yourself. God can bless you through your praise. Free yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, just free yourself. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Woo, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight. Don't you give up. You've been built to last. If you get in a fight, you're supposed to win. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look. Hallelujah. Eh, glory. That won't start ya kata. Eh, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Partakers. They thought, partakers, they thought they were going to break you. They thought they were going to shut y'all down. They thought y'all wasn't going to make it. But that's why I just came here tonight telling you you were built. You were built to last. You were made for this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just from one first lady to another. Stand strong, woman of God. Hallelujah. You've been made for this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There may be somebody here tonight, hallelujah, that's sitting in this audience. Maybe you don't understand everything that's going on right now, but you will understand it better. It's too dangerous out here now to be uncovered. It's too dangerous out here to be uncovered. If there's somebody here that does not have a church home, or if there's somebody here that's not growing where you're going, yeah. we want to open the doors of the church tonight. Let me just pull the house. Yeah. Is, how many of you are saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost? Amen. Y'all close your eyes. Is there someone out here that is not saved? We, I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm trying to help you. Hallelujah. All right, there's everybody in the house. Amen is saved, so let's clap our hands for that. Tonight I'm on assignment, and I'm, I'm going to be done, but tonight... I'm on assignment for people who are broken, for people who are starting to lose hope, who, people who say, I'm living from paycheck to paycheck. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I come to church, I put a smile on my face. I try to do the best I can, but it's just been hard. 
If that's you tonight, I'm going to ask you to make your way to the altar. I want to pray with you. Amen. There's just somebody here to say, I just need an extra push. Amen. I just need to be encouraged on tonight. If that's you on tonight, I invite you down to this altar. Don't be embarrassed. The embarrassment is not coming. Because we all been going through. We all been going through. We all been going through. Hallelujah. God bless you all for your honesty on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're living in a dispensation where pastors are committing suicide because things have just been so hard. But before you give up, God sent me with a word tonight to tell you you've been built to last. Hallelujah. So I don't want you to give up. <laughs> but if you just hold on, deliverance is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Tanya Welch, I got you. I got you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got you, Tanya. Let me touch this phone right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, my sister. You hold on, don't you give up, don't you let go. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is going to take care of you. God is not a man that he should lie. If he said he'd do it, he has to do it. So right now, in the name of Jesus, whatever time your wealth is going through, I pray right now that you will touch, heal, deliver, and set her free in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look this way. As I just told Tanya, God is not a man that he should lie. He can't lie. If he said he's going to do it, he's got to do it. If he said he's going to heal your body, he's got to heal it hallelujah I agree with you I agree with you hallelujah he was wounded oh, I transgressed he was bruised for our iniquity the chastisement of our peace as a woman and by his strike what's, what's his name what's his name Sam Sam is healed somebody shout Sam is healed Sam Sam is healed come here come here come here yeah, yeah, that they're both side, yeah, that both side, yeah, that side, yeah, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Touch now, God. Touch, Jesus. Touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 touch. The peace of God. The peace of God. The peace of God. The peace of God, sister. The peace of God. The peace of God. God told me to tell you you've got to have some peace in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, God. Yes, God. Touch now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God is about to bring you peace. He's about to bring you peace. He's about to bring you peace. He's about to bring you peace. hands on you as a point of contact but you got to believe you got to believe you got to believe you got to believe you got you 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 you
you got to believe. Hey, you got to believe, sister. You got to believe. It may have been hard, but you got to believe. You're still here. You're still here. You're still here. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. 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 In the name of Jesus. Touch this man. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. It's hard for black men out here now, God. It's hard to do right when everybody else is doing wrong. Man of God, I call you man of God. Hallelujah, walk in it, 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 walk in it. Hallelujah, walk in it, walk in it, walk in it, walk in it, sir, walk in it. Hallelujah. God calls you a mighty man of valor. Walk in it, walk in it. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will not be broken. Walk in it. You will not be broken. I don't care what they said about you. I don't care how they treat you. Hallelujah. Financial blessings is coming your way, man of God. I decree and declare it. Financial blessings is coming your way, man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God sees your tears. Yeah, yeah, the most Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Come on, young man. God's trying to steal our young man. But the devil is a liar. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Yeah. The devil, the devil, the devil, the devil is a liar. Yeah, you can't have him. You can't have him. You can't have him. In Jesus' name. Come on, man of God. Surrender, 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 surrender. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
on is I'm not tired yet. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. We thank God for the mothers, for the soldiers that has brought us through this journey. So right now we ask God to bless you like never before. It's never too late. Bless her socks off, Jesus. Hey! Yeah! Hey. 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 Come on, let's give God praise. Let's receive our pastor on tonight. Hallelujah. Let's receive our pastor. Come on, stand to your feet. Let's receive our pastor. Give God praise for the preached word. Give God praise for the preacher. Now give God praise for what you receive from him personally. Give God praise for the anointing that is on her life. Woo! Thank you, Jesus, for the freedom you've given us to worship you in spirit and in truth. Were your souls blessed on tonight or what? <laughs> Pastor Van, I don't know what Bishop gave. Made you for breakfast this morning. But Bishop, I know you're watching, it worked. Thank you, sir. We thank and praise God for this gift of a preacher that is among us. Amen. We're going to receive the offering. Oh, look how fast the claps fade away. Amen. God is. Whatever the Lord places on your heart to give, the only requirement is that you do it cheerfully. If you're in the building and you need an envelope, raise your hand. If you're giving electronically or virtually, the information is on the screen. You can hold your mobile device up against the QR code, the camera, and it will take you directly to our GiveLify page and our Cash App page. If you're giving via Zelle, the information is on the screen as well. And if you want to mail it to our physical location or drop it off in our drop box outside the door, you can do that as well. If anyone needs an envelope, oh God. Ooh. Wow, I'm looking at all this evidence of people who were built to last. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you ever underestimate your God as he deals with yourself. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many cheerful givers are in the house? Amen. God, we thank you for the gift and the giver. We pray these gifts are acceptable to you for they are being given from cheerful hearts. We pray that you would take these gifts and multiply these gifts and that they would be used for your kingdom and to your glory. And over and above the amount, bless the heart of the giver is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let every heart say amen, amen, and amen. Uh, Okay. Amen. Now y'all know how we roll. If the Lord has moved upon your heart to sow into this rich soil, her cash app information is on the screen. Is that the right one? Okay. She said that's the right one. Amen. We encourage you to give and to sow. Uh, we've already given her the gift from the church and let me thank you all again. Look at your neighbor and say, we met the budget. Okay, y'all ain't excited. Thank, we met the budget. Amen. We, uh, we ain't having no revival where we in the red. Amen. I'll call some of y'all up off the pew to preach. But I thank God. I thank God for your kindness, your contributions, your gifts. Amen. And we want to sow it for those who don't have cash app. She will be standing. Oh, it's, oh. Shelia. Oh, Shelia. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, it's spelled wrong on there on Cash App. Okay, so Cash App got the that spell correct. Oh, we spelled it wrong. You mean our perfect selves? It's S H E I L A. Amen. Well, Monica's already on it. Amen. So y'all just switch them letters. Amen. And uh, dollar sign Sheila Van. One. S-H-E-I-L-V-A-N-N -N, and the number one. Amen. Amen. And uh, Pastor, will you have time to come down and shake a few hands? Because there are a few Baptist handshakes I'm, gonna, I'm sure you're going to receive uh, for those who don't. Uh, give online. I am a proud pastor tonight. Well, I always am. But especially on tonight, partakers, because you did what you said you would do. You came out strong each night and you served and you worshiped. And I said I wanted to make it for us where we have an opportunity as a church to just sit and receive and to worship God. And you all were with us. And come on, give yourselves a hand for it. Let me thank and praise God for every visitor. Will you stand? Can I, will you stand real quick? We're about to get out of here. Will you stand? Every visitor, come on. Come on, give God praise for the visitors. If you're a partaker and you're near a visitor, will you show them some love? Will you show them how much we appreciate them being in the house? Amen. If you're watching online, just type hashtag visitor, and I'm asking those online to welcome you, to show you some partaker's love. Amen. Wow. It has been an awesome week. Partakers, can we invite them back again? Pastor, will you come back again? Amen. Hey, man, you heard that, Florina? Okay, you know what we need to do. Hey, Amen. Joy Quartet, y'all coming back again. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Let me thank and praise God for Pastor Stephen Murphy. He manages the group, and he, he he's the Philly and lead singer. <laughs> thank you, brother, for getting on the drums and, man, helping us out. This is how the fellowship works. This is how the body functions. Amen. I thank and praise God for all you preachers and pastors who made your way here this week. We certainly don't want to take you for granted as well as our visitors. I'm going to get this out the way now. Then I'm going to ask Pastor Van to come with the final remarks and the benediction. Those of you who are watching online, we thank and praise God for your presence and participation 
in this in these worship experiences those who are here in person you know I'm in love with you if DJ Khaled was here he would say you we the best amen you all are the absolute best partakers say amen as Pastor Van comes with the final remarks and benediction Come on, let's clap your hands, amen. Thank you. Thank you so much for receiving me and the way I minister, I don't apologize for it. That's right. Amen. You're free, amen. Man. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me and yeah. what he is yeah. doing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, yeah. amen. Thank God for my man, a God who's recovering from back surgery. Love you, baby. Love Amen. you so much. Amen. Amen. I'm coming home. We said it at a <laughs> Amen. Again, Ebenezer, thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Amen. My, uh, our, my husband. I call her my assistant too. Rhonda, stand up. Amen. This Amen. is Rhonda. Everybody need a good girlfriend. Amen. I appreciate her. I call her 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Amen. Bishop and I, she's, and she answered 24 hours a day. And I thank God for her. Amen. For the assistance. She make ministry easy for me and Bishop. So I thank God for you, sister, on tonight. And to all my Ebenezer family, my ministers, I see y'all. Amen. Amen. See you guys. Elder Tab and Elder Renee and Minister Shirley. And see you guys and all of my epics right here. That's right. That's my epics. You got to have some good seniors in your life. Amen. Amen. They know how to pray for you. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for them. But I thank God for partakers. I thank God for what he's doing in this ministry. I thank God for y'all. You guys are a testament of what God can do. You are a testament of what God can do. This man of God here, y'all point to him. Say, God, give him strength. God, give him strength. We rebuke the hand of the enemy and anybody that speaks against him, anybody that comes against him, you will be in trouble because he's been built to last. Come on, stand to your feet. Amen. I always try to figure out, Lord, how do you smith dismiss? <laughs> God be with you. <laughs> God be with you. God be with you until we meet. Okay. Thank you to that quartet group over there. Y'all, woo, y'all said, I thought y'all was trying to kill me. <laughs> and to this organist here, amen. Y'all give it up for him. Thank you, sir. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before his presence with great joy. To the wise God, our Father, be glory, dominion, majesty, and power. 
now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let us all say together. God bless you. Be safe on tonight. She's going to come down and shake a few hands. If you all want to come shake a hand. Amen. Bonnie, could you come get our picture real quick before... <laughs>